evening, everybody, and welcome. I am Mohan Kapoor, and it is my privilege to be the quiz master of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015, right here on Star Plus. Well, we've begun our journey to the grand destination and crossed some exciting milestones already with these young guns who are all competing for the coveted Star Quiz Challenge rolling trophy. Come, let's meet them. My first team here, GEMS Modern Academy, Dubai. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Sathwik Das and I study in Grade 9. I'm Mohammed Ashan from Grade 9. Welcome aboard. You made it up to here. Sathwik Das, may I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he was part of the winning team from last year. So congratulations, Sathwik. Welcome once again. Sunrise English Private School, Abu Dhabi, welcome. Please give us your introductions. I'm Aditya Krishna and I study in Grade 7. Thank you. I'm Monica Panigrahi and I study in Grade 9. Monica, it says here that you're a rock and metal fan. Yet I see you in UAE's most prestigious quiz contest. How do you prepare, especially with your taste in music? Do you find that it distracts you? No, I think it helps me concentrate. It does? Yes. Times have changed. Welcome aboard, all the very best. Dubai International Academy, Dubai, welcome. Please give us your introductions. My name is Gillian Allison Gracious and I study in Year 9. Samrata Patel, Year 10. Year 10. Welcome to both of you. Gillian, you love taking selfies. Yes. Yes? Photography your interest? Yes. Or modeling? Photography. Photography. Hmm. You might want to switch the camera and shoot what's in front the next time then. Might help. Well, these are part of the elite from UAE's top schools. Let's see what we've got in store for them today. What a fabulous bunch we have got for you here today. The first round tests their general knowledge against the clock. In our first round, that is brought to you by Malabar Chef, which is rapid fire. Rules for round one, rapid fire. Six direct questions per team. In case you're not sure of the answer, say pass and we'll come back to the question if time permits. Five points for a correct answer, no negative points, 45 seconds to answer all questions. All right, Gems Modern Academy, Dubai. Are we ready? Yes. yes. All right, Mohammed Ishan and Satwik, your rapid fire, 45 seconds. Your first question, how many laws of motion did Isaac Newton propound? Three. Three. Absolutely right. Question two, what is the tall brimless hat worn by a chef known as a torque or a toupee? A toupee. a toupee. It's incorrect. Three, born in Leningrad in 1937, Boris Spassky was a prominent world champion in which sport? Boxing. Incorrect. Question four, in accounting, which word literally means he owes in Latin? Debit. Absolutely right. Five, which South American country was ravaged in 1960 by the largest earthquake ever measured on a seismograph? Chile. Absolutely right. And the last one, which is the largest moon in the solar system? Titan. Incorrect. Your time is up. Good on you, Satwik. Moving on, Sunrise English Private School Abu Dhabi, are you ready for your rapid fire? Yes. Six questions, 45 seconds, all the very best. Question one, what term refers to the vast majority of Roman citizens distinct from the patricians? Plebeians. Absolutely right. Question two, which of these is a type of bird, Grinch or Grouse? Pass. Pass. Question three, which two colors constitute the checkered flag waved to signal the end of a Formula One race? Black, Black and white. white. Absolutely right. Question four, which is the only South American country whose name begins with an E? Ecuador. Absolutely right. Question five, Le Mans car race is held in which country? Pass. Question six, which English scientist first proposed the concept of vaccination? Edward Jenner or Bruce Jenner? Bruce Jenner. Mm -hmm. Incorrect. You have time. Which of these is a type of bird, Grinch or Grouse? Grouse. Grouse is right and your time is up. Well done, well done. Congratulations. Dubai International Academy, Dubai. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. 45 seconds, six questions. Question one coming up. Here it is. Is the Labrador current a cold or a warm one? Pass. Question two. In the Tintin series, which character is referred to as the Milanese Nightingale? Pass. Pass. Question three. Entomophobia is the irrational fear of which living creature? Pass. Question four. Which American politician's middle name is Hussein? Barack Obama. Barack Obama is right. Question five. Which nine-letter word is used to describe the explosion of a star? Supernova. Absolutely right. Supernova. Question six. 
Which band composed the 1969 album Abbey Road? Pass. Pass? Okay, quickly back to the first. Is the Labrador current a cold or a warm one? Warm one. Incorrect. And your time's up. Well, not too good, but there are enough rounds for you to tackle. So hang in there. Well done, all the teams. I am going to now introduce our next round. Like Sachin Tendulkar, going up to bat it is time for our contestants to unleash their big hitters in specialist areas. In school, you may not get the opportunity to choose the lessons you go to, but here we're giving them the chance to pick their favorite subject. Let's see who can knock it for a six. Our next round, which is brought to you by Skyline University College, is categories. <music> Rules for round two, categories. We will start with the lowest scoring team. Each team gets to choose only one category out of six. Ten points for a correct answer. If the team does not know the answer, then the question passes on to the next team for ten points. Ten seconds to answer a direct question, five seconds to answer a past question. Is that clear? Is that understood? Any doubts? So shall we start? Lowest scoring team at this point is Dubai International Academy Dubai. Don't lose heart by that statement. It's just the beginning, all right? S categories, your six categories are literature, geography, history, films, science, and world affairs. What do you choose? World affairs. Your question for world affairs, Dubai International Academy. To which region did the UN General Assembly grant the status of non-member observer state in November 2012? Africa. Sorry? Africa. Africa, that's incorrect. Gems, it passes on to you for five. Vatican City. Vatican City, that is incorrect. Sunrise English Private School. Okay. Palestine. Sorry? Palestine. Okay. Absolutely right. Well done. Okay, moving on to the next high scoring team. That was Gems Modern Academy. Categories left for you to choose from are literature, geography, history, films, science. Geography. Your question for geography. Which is the northernmost of all the Southeast Asian countries? Thailand. Sorry? Thailand. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Sunrise English Private School. Philippines. Philippines is incorrect. Yes, Dubai International. Mongolia. Mongolia. No. Myanmar. Oh, sorry about that, all of you. But moving on now, Sunrise English Private School. It is your turn. Categories left for you to choose from are literature, history, films, and science. Science. Science? Wow. For you, the question is, what is the name given to energy obtained from materials such as the groundnut shells, rice husks, and sugarcane bagasse? Chemical energy? No, it's incorrect. Huh? Moving on to Dubai International Academy. Time up. Gems Modern Academy, Dubai. Biomass. Bio Good, that is correct. Biomass energy. Well, that's all we have time for in this segment. Things are hotting up. One team is wearing the leader's jacket at the moment, but there's still plenty of time for everything to change. Let's take a short break to compose ourselves, shall we? We will see you back here just in a few moments. Stay with us. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. You're watching UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Just have a look at my grand contenders for today. Aren't they truly grand? And this is what they're all playing for. The prestigious Star Quiz Rolling Trophy, a real mark of excellence for their school. As we head into the fray with our final three rounds, let's find out. But first, a look at the scores. Our scores are as follows. At second runner-up position with just 10 points, we have Dubai International Academy, Dubai. 
You gotta buck up, and you gotta buck up now. All right? I'm hoping for the best for y'all. At first runner-up position with 20 points, we have GEMS Modern Academy Dubai. And inching forward from them over the rounds, we have Sunrise English Private School Abu Dhabi with 25 points. Well done. It's all very neck to neck, but anything can happen. I wish you all the very best. Let's move on to our third round, which is brought to you by Max. Max Starkey. Rules for round three, Starcade. Each team gets an assigned question, which is a series of clues on a thing, a place, personality, event, monument, or animal. The first clue is the max clue, worth 20 points. If the team misses or answers incorrectly, they get a second clue, worth 10 points. If the team still misses or passes, they get a third clue, worth 5 points. Questions do not pass in this round. Are we ready? I am going to now begin with GEMS Modern Academy Dubai. For you, Starcade round, I'm going to give you your max clue, which is the first clue, Alfred Moshe Butts, an out-of-work architect, invented the board game. Give me the name of that board game. Scrabble. Scrap, bang on! Well done, Mohammed Ishan. 20 points. Sunrise English Private School Abu Dhabi, are you ready? Yes. yes. Your chance to get max scores on Max Starcade with clue number one. Your max clue one is... This Italian natural philosopher, astronomer and mathematician was born in 1564 near Florence. Italian natural philosopher, astronomer, and mathematician was born Galileo in the Galilei. of Florence. Galileo Galilei. Absolutely right. Well done, Team B. Sensational. Dubai International Academy. I wish you all the very best, and I want you to get your max scores and max target in the first clue itself. All the very best. Your max clue won for 20 points. Genetically, these African great apes are most closely related to man. Baboon. That's incorrect. Clue number two for 10 points. Conservationist Jane Goodall has studied these animals intimately at Gombe National Park. Gorillas. Sorry? Gorillas. Gorillas, incorrect. Your third clue, which would be a picture clue for five points, I'm giving that up to you now. Chimpanzee. That's right, chimpanzees. Well done, Dubai International Academy. Five points it is to you too. Well done. What a great round that was. That's the kind of stuff that keeps me going. But let's see if our teams can keep it going in the penultimate round. Next up is the audiovisual round brought to you by none other than Signal. Rules for round four, audiovisual round. You will either be shown a picture or hear an audio clip followed by a question. A total of three questions, one question per team. The question will pass on if the first team does not know the answer or gets it wrong. 10 points and 10 seconds for a direct question, five points and five seconds for a passed on question. No negative marks. Are we ready? Once again, I begin with you, Gems Modern Academy, Dubai. For you, I have a visual. Have a look and listen to the question. Identify this football coach. Jose Mourinho. Absolutely right. Well done, Satwe. Sunrise English Private School, Abu Dhabi, they're closing in. Let's see what you can do with yours. You have an audio cue. Listen to it, and then I'll ask you the question. Aren't you something to admire? Cause you shine something like a... Yes. Identify the singer. Justin Timberlake. Foregone conclusion. Yes, well done, well done. <laughs> Dubai International Academy, you're up next. Are you ready? Yes. All right. You have a visual. Have a look. These black taxis are a common sight in which capital city? London. Absolutely right, London. Well done, well done. 
good on you. Excellent work, boys and girls. Four rounds down, and we're almost there. The Max Starquiz Challenge is a marathon, not a sprint. But it may be time for you to start putting those brains into overdrive as we head into the final streak. I dare you at home. I dare you. Go anywhere. You won't. As we collect ourselves for the all-important final race to the finish line, coming up after the short commercial break, here on your very own Star Plus, the region's number one in the entertainment channel. <laughs> And here we are, in the final round of this episode of the Max Starquiz Challenge 2015. Well, we've barely been able to catch our breath here tonight. The previous rounds are still buzzing in our ears. And that is only gonna get louder here in the final round at the buzzer. Rules for round five at the buzzer. The team that hits the buzzer first gets to answer. The question will not be completed if the buzzer is hit while it's being read. The team hitting the buzzer must answer within five seconds of hitting the buzzer. Ten points for a correct answer, minus five points for an incorrect answer or no answer after hitting the buzzer. All ready? All understood? Yeah. Any ambiguity, any doubts, any questions you want to ask me? No. No? Okay then. Hands at the buzzer. Let's get quizzical. Question one, Dr. Aisha Al Sayar is the first Emirati woman to earn which academic degree? The PhD or MBBS? 10 points for a correct answer, minus five for an incorrect answer. Dubai International has a guess. PhD. Absolutely right, PhD, well done. Question two, which Italian leader was nicknamed El Duce? Which Italian leader was nicknamed El Duce? Time. Question three. In which sporting meet did Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Hashar Al Maktoum win the first gold medal for UAE? Commonwealth Games? Incorrect. Question four. Control C is a keyboard shortcut for. Copy. Copy. You took a risk, but good on you. Copy it is. Well done. Question five. In which part of a rattlesnake's body is its rattle power? Tail. Tail. Tail is absolutely right. What's happening, Team B, Team C? Aren't your hands on the buzzer yet? Get ready. Your last question. Question six. In popular nursery rhyme, Ding Dong Bell, what animal was saved by little... Pussy. Pussy. Cat. cat. A cat. Pussy cat. Well done. Uh, Gems Modern uh, Academy. Wow. Well done. Well done. Uh, well, that's it. Full stop. End of. Finito. Halas, as we say here in the UAE. A stupendous round here. Let's see what that has done to their scores. Well, Standing at second runner-up position, we have Dubai International Academy Dubai with 30 points. In the final round, they showed a spark. They answered two questions. One that got them their points and the second one that took away some. You got 10 points, but you got a minus five at the second attempt. So which means that you had it in you, but it didn't deliver the second one. Thank you so much for being a part of the show, Dubai International Academy, and all the very best for the future. First runner-up position, the team that was leading all the way up to at the buzzer round, which is Sunrise English Private School Abu Dhabi with 55 points. Unfortunately, you did not answer a single of the questions posed to you at the buzzer, which in fact helped GEMS Modern Academy Dubai zoom ahead, race ahead, and score 30 points just in that one round, ending with a grand total of 80 points. Well done, Satwi Das and Mohammad Ishar. Unfortunately, there can only be one victor. But as I 
hand out the star knowledge crystals to each of our contestants from today. Remember, these five eyes. If you're inspired, ignite your imagination with information. Are you not entertained? These gladiators have played out their skins and we've been lucky enough to witness it. The fun doesn't stop there though. Did you know in 2008, the most expensive car plate in the world was sold in Abu Dhabi for the princely sum of 52.2 million dirhams? But it's mental prowess, not money, that will determine the winner of the Star Quiz Challenge Rolling Trophy. So do tune in next week for the fourth installment of UAE's most prestigious inter-school quiz contest, the Max Star Quiz Challenge 2015. Until then, stay smart.